Are you trying to play Midnight Club Los Angeles on the RPCS3 PS3 emulator but your game is just crashing and it's not loading and you want to relive the good old days of Midnight Club Los Angeles? Well stick around in this video and I will show you exactly how you can play the game exactly like I am. Silky smooth, no errors, nothing and in 4K upscaled. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, it's me Kev the Gamer, not your average gaming channel of course. Now today's video is another RPCS3 PS3 emulator video. Now, this video is how to play any unplayable game in the PS3 emulator. Now if you look on this side here of the screen, you can see the RPCS3 website has a compatibility list of all the games which can run in the emulator. Most of them run fine and there's no issues and they play even better on the emulator than on the ps3 however some games especially midnight club los angeles which i've been dying to play for such a long time is currently showing on the rps3 website as unplayable now today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can change some settings in the emulator itself to actually run the game a lot smoother and make it playable now the settings I'm going to be using for this video and for the Midnight Club Los Angeles, you can use the same settings for any other games that come up as unplayable or have in-game errors. It might actually help you and actually load the games. Some games just will not probably work, but for most of the time, this method I'm going to show you will actually allow you to play the unplayable games and completely playable. So stick around in the video. Hope you enjoy it. Again, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll try my very best to help you guys out as much as I can. And if you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be back with some more awesome gaming content. All right, guys. So once you boot up RPCS3, you can see all your games appear here. Now, for Midnight Club Los Angeles, what you want to do is you need to manage the game. So the first thing we do is go to manage. And then from here, we're going to go to game patches. Now, let it update whatever it needs to do it will update scroll down till you find your game whether you've got the midnight club los angeles complete edition or normal one so for me it will be midnight club los angeles so select the game and now you're going to get three different serial numbers now to find the serial number of your game if you move the box out of the way you can see on the app here it's got the serial number so just use the same serial number for yours so click on that and what you want to do is you want to select the two options exactly like I have done here. Once you've selected the options, just press the save button or apply, it doesn't matter, and that will close the screen. Next, you want to press configuration at the top of the screen and select advance, and you're going to be presented with this screen here. Now, in this part here, just follow the exact same settings which I have enabled. Now that is all the settings that you need to have applied in the game before you can run it. So I'll copy the exact same settings as I have done there. Leave everything else as it is. You don't need to go into any of the other buttons or any of the options. That's all you need to do. Once you've done, just hit apply and then save and the game will close and then we can boot up the game. Alright guys, now you can see the game is loaded and it is giving me currently at the moment some low frames but the game is completely playable now. You can see it's silky smooth, the game runs absolutely fine, no issues at all whatsoever. Um, 
yeah, go have fun and relive playing Midnight Club Los Angeles on the PS3 emulator. Again, if you have any questions, guys, please drop them in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe for more awesome gaming content. Unfortunately, I can't have the audio of the game playing because YouTube will slap me with a copyright strike. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, you know what to do. Until next time, take care.